Hello and welcome to episode 17 of my Crack Block series. Thank you for joining in again. Um, last time I made the electric blast furnace and I had to make aluminium. It's the next step, right? That's what the quest wants us to do. And it's also for us to progress to the next sieving tier, which is an aluminium mesh. Um, you may recall that aluminium requires uh, aluminium dust in the blast furnace and it requires 120 EU per tick. Now our basic diesel generators each do um, 32 EU per tick, right? So we're gonna need four of those. So I prepared all the parts uh, and it took me ba about four and a half stacks of, of steel, I think, to make all these parts because I needed the hull, which is uh, nine steel. Then I needed the uh, electric pistons, which uh, no, I don't, uh, which require f eight steel each, and I need two for each machine. And then the um, oh, sorry, this, this steel gear take eight each so that's that's a stack on its own just these eight gears these require three plates four plates and two rods so another six each it's a lot of steel but i should be able to make four basic diesel generators and i think i'm also going to make some more of these fluid ducts uh, oh yes the wrench needs to be in there i had to take the wrench out because the wrench is the only Two really to break the electric um, thingy arc furnace. Okay, so that's one thing. Is we're gonna get power in there. Um, actually, I'm now I was going for the fluid ducts, but now I'm actually wondering if maybe I should go for um, cans. Hmm. <laughs> Think about it for a bit more when I set this up like this, and then I'll need to make the two times tin wires. I'm not too worried about the loss here. Um, another thing is that to make aluminium, we first put our aluminium ore chunk into the forge hammer. Or I think the macerator would also work. Oh, we already had some crush. Mm. We'll keep that on us for now. Mm, should I go for the tin cans? I think I may go for some tin cans instead because um, I don't think I, I'm gonna need a lot of it. Maybe. Oh, we'll see. I can always hook up the um, the fluid ducts later at any time. Um, tin cables becomes 21. Two times tin cables. All right. The crushed, and uh, that's something that's not in JI, and I'm, I've asked Pixel, I think it should be added to the quest line, at least as information. Uh, because th it doesn't tell us. Um, there's another thing that we need. And that's a cauldron. They're just a regular vanilla cauldron. Because we're gonna wash them. And I put the small wooden tank here, which holds for buckets against the fluid pipe which are by the way uh, I had to, I've extended this out further and it's been running fine since um, it, although I was completely out of soul sand and yeah no, I think it's working transforming or pulling out yeah it's pulling out putting in putting in water you're almost done. You should be putting out. Here. See, this I don't understand. This has which water? Oh, yeah. And this has water again. So, um, yeah, for now the soul sand doesn't seem to be able to keep up, but I'm guessing it's because the hopper behind there is being filled. Anyway, we fill this with the with water, drop in a stack of crushed. Um, aluminum ore and we get centrifuge aluminum ore which is quite interesting because you know in my house a centrifuge is something that makes something dry and this is not making something dry is it so 
Anyway. I just... We are to the centrifuge enemy anymore. Because that's where we got stuck last time, right? We didn't have a centrifuge. Why didn't they tell us to make a centrifuge? They go back in here. Right, and they get turned into aluminium dust. Fast forward. Well, for you guys, for me, it's it's uh, turned back. Because I already have four stacks of this stuff there. Okay, you should be able to handle the two amps. And you should be able to handle two amps. And... For now, let's see. Yeah, this this one, right? This full tank. Okay, that's that should give us twenty. Let's divide that into four. And you get five. You get five. You get five, and you get five, and then I go back again to the aluminium ingot. It says 44 seconds, 106,000 EU. Okay, we'll see. Um, that should then go into the input bus. It seems to work, it says running perfectly. <laughs> there you go. So. Four machines will produce 120 EU, or at least actually 128, with maybe one loss there and one loss there, so 126 going into the machine, right? Um, and then it was the, uh, the cauldron that was missing. So now, mesh. We can also have a look at the aluminium mesh, which just requires five rods each, so five ingots each. I need 16, 80 ingots. And then I can. If we look at the sieve, and we look at the uses for the sieve, and we go to the aluminium mesh, we can get sky saw, which we don't really need. Uh, we don't really need worms or saplings, thank you very much. Um, I have plenty of worms and saplings, but gas steers. They may be fun. Um, we, don't have to, we don't have to make gas, which, I you know, you can make gas with witch water and squid. I don't want to make gas. I don't like gas. Um, ooh, chorus fruit, chorus flower. Of oh, course, fruit is also an option here. Um, anything special? I'm guessing we should be able to get the diamond then, right? That should be the the last year. Platinum, palladium, iridium, shellite, lithium, blue topaz, topaz, um, red sand, prismarine, emerald. Yeah, I remember emerald was now moved to the aluminium tier, but here it is. Fine diamond ore chunk. 3% chance. Which just turns into an, a nice and into a diamond. Uh, I would like to have a diamond. And because then I can make a drawer controller, right? Um Cobalt's now also higher tier by the way. Uh, yeah Pixel re rearranged all the ore generations so some tiers are now higher, some are better. Uh, copper is much easier to get now. Ah, we already have two ingots. We should have a tingling. <gasps> Quest complete. Uh, yeah. Right, so this is not really linked. Not sure what that does. Also, the quest book has changed. Um, don't think I showed you this. This is version 1.4.1. One. Um, the, the quests that are important to progress towards the next um, age are the square ones. Uh, the blue ones still to be done, the yellow ones are complete. The ones that are round are not necessarily required to migrate, to move to the next age. So yes, basic mixer is required, uh, but artificial rubber, hmm, not so nice, not so much. Uh, as long as you have the fluid solidifier, which is quite weird that rubber is required, but then artificial rubber isn't. Anyway, all of these are not required. Although apparently the basic fluid canner can be used to put my light view into the cans, which I now did manually. Um, we also have some new uh, quests open in the uh, natural age. Uh, oh yeah, plastic is still disabled right now. Um, which is towards the bees. I casing infused with bee seed and then 
attracting bees, uh, which I think is going to be the, um, the bee attractor. Ah, properly named. A carpenter. So the carpenter probably n is needed, I think, to make the impregnated case because the carp. What was that sound? Did you guys hear that? I don't know what that was. Oh well. Um, see, you're still at four and a half buckets. I could have put 16 buckets in it, you know. That's what they hold, but it doesn't need that. Um, I will actually put in all the other aluminium dust. I just leave this running for a while. Uh, so I can make the aluminium sieves. And then I'm going to look into what is needed for the impregnated casing. Impregnated. I'm guessing it's going to take a, f a male casing to impregnate a female. Maybe. Um, assembler. Or the carpenter. Mm hmm. Interesting. But the assembler, this, oh, this is a higher tier assembler. Which, you know, we're not there yet, so. The carpenter, but then you need seed oil, which we get from the fluid extractor. This is the... But these take 640 U per tick. That doesn't make sense. All of them take 640 U per tick. That's... Um, requires... The natural age. Oh, that's this one. So we have to start with the sturdy casing. Which I think is just bronze, right? Um, yeah, it's just... Um, oh, brass. This is a new material. We don't have brass yet. Where do we get brass? We get brass from tetrahydrate and zinc. Tetrahydrate. Um, do, 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 do. Do, 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 which I may have all... Uh, maybe not. Let's see, where do I get this from? Pilferizing... Centrifuge tetrahedrite. Let's see if we have tetrahedrite. Welcome to my new organized, well, sort of organized, uh, sieving, uh, sifting output. Um, I got tired of all the stuff in the drawer, so just couldn't find what I needed. Tetrahedrite, tetrahedrite. I fear we may have, um, <laughs> I may have cooked everything. Fine. Do I have any tetrahedrite in here? Cinnabar, Galena, Quartz, uh, I, I can still do the red side, uh, the redstone and the salt, but no tetrahedrite. Because for the brass, just to remind myself, um, that's the only one, right? It's all, or it's oh copper. I can do copper and zinc. Oh, oh duh. Uh, do I have zinc? I feel like I do. Copper and zinc, and I need eight plates. Uh, nickel, zinc. I have one zinc. Oh, seriously. Let's have a look at the Excel sheet. Okay, apparently, crushed nether rack on a string mesh is the only way to get the nether sphaterite ore chunk, which is the only way to get zinc. Because none of the other blocks for the smelting, nether sphaterite ore, you know, they, they don't do anything. I can't click them. Yeah, I can't click the purified one, and the sphaterite dust, which I get from centrifuge sphaterite ore, which I get from purified sphaterite ore, or crushed sphaterite ore, which I get from with these that I can't get. Um, so we're back to here. Fine zinc ore, clicking it, nothing is happening, nothing's happening. Nether zinc ore, nothing's happening. So... Crushed zinc ore again. Um, crushed netherrack. Crushed netherrack. 
that is the way to go. Now, do do I have netherrack? I recall I have some of it. I should have some of it, but it's not a lot. And I remember it was a pain because I, it's redstone in lava right now. I got plenty of redstone, but hmm. And I need eight. And this one gives me three. So I need to make three. I need three zinc. I have one. I need two more zinc. So in theory, with a 5% chance, I would have to do 40. All right, let me try and get some zinc. Okay, I only got 23, and I've got one shatterite, one zinc. So, so the process of making lava is just really, really slow. I'm not sure if I can speed it up in any way. Um, I put this one, I stole it from over there. I was actually making a new one that's in the furnace, and then I decided not to wait for it. But this, this is just really slow. I don't think there's any faster way of making... Let's, oh, let's first check if there's netherrack. I don't think so. Yeah, forge hammer, compressed netherrack. Right, carpenter. So that's all kind of useless. Lava. Lava is smelting sand. Um, okay, but then it takes 10 cents for a bucket or four cobblestone for a bucket or one netherrack. Yeah, let's get one netherrack in for a bucket of lava to make netherrack. Um, obsidian don't have a no, fabricator. No, I don't think that's an option yet. So it's going to be this really slow process here, right, of me standing with the Redstone, waiting for this to be done. Um, so, I have a few options. I can do all this on camera to make a full length episode. I think you're gonna skip forward to the end anyway, right? If I do that, or you can just stop viewing at all and <laughs> probably get a thumbs down. Um, I can, I'm not gonna be able to finish that today. It's now Sunday evening for me. Um, and I need so much lava, you know, 20, uh, generally 20 netherrack, cross netherrack for one of these featherites. Uh, or what is already, yeah, nether's featherite ore. Mm. And this is the speed at which it goes. Yeah, and, and I can try. But I just don't feel, and I've lost my redstone, that I will be able to make that tonight. That means either I'm going to continue this episode tomorrow evening, after I come home from work, and upload it. Or I'm going to upload a shorter version tonight. And then have another episode, hopefully with a bit more progress. Um... Yeah, not tomorrow probably, but then the day after. And I think that's what I'm going to do. And yeah, so I know this is going to be a short episode, and I'm sorry, but at least we got aluminium. And I did put the chest in front of the, which is quite cool, by the way. The import bus that I had to make here, the elf input bus LV, you can see it's full. Because it's pulling. It's pulling directly from a chest. That's pretty cool. And we have 35, so we can make... We can make some meshes. Maybe that's fun. Make some meshes. Maybe it's even a quest somewhere. Let's see. Let's get some meshes out. Just before the end of this episode. Just before I... Give up for today. Because this is quite a setback, having to get the sink for that... Um, that next quest line. Well, it's not the next quest line. I, I grant it's actually a different quest line. Um, well, I'll tell you what. Let's do this. Uh, get these out. 35. Then. Uh, do, 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 do. 
You go there, you go there. Seven measures. Yeah, that should be a quest. I kind of figured that would be a quest, yeah. We're gonna get diamonds. We're gonna get diamonds. Um, we're gonna get rid of this stupid rain. That's for one. Let's see what um, what we need for the... Because I'm guessing we need more than just a diamond. Right. It's, uh, it's gonna be more. And I also still need to the water and I think everything else is done right it's just the water that's not in there okay we got seven that's something right let's see quest line um here it is oh it's actually complete it doesn't that's all you're not gonna ask me for diamonds and emeralds and platinum and lithium uh, uh, okay, let's see what do we need for a diamond. We may get a full length episode after all. Um, diamond, because you know, I'm gonna get diamond from cooking the. Ooh, nether diamond ore chunk. The fine diamond ore chunk. So, sand in the aluminium mesh. So, let's get that going into this hopper. Oh yeah, you can't control shift click, it doesn't take the whole shebang. Um, oh yeah, we don't have the water on there. <laughs> yeah, I can't do water, but... Uh, I'm gonna have to remove it again, right? Oh, that's actually enough. But I can't do the... Why? Oh, the water wheels aren't... I didn't set up the water wheels for this, did I? Um, no. There you go. You should have some water. Ah. You're gonna do that to me. You gotta drop them down there. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Okay, and that's the wrong level. That's the right level. There we go. See if I didn't s screw up anything down here. Not particularly. It is sifting. We're fine. Oh, we got two more here. Da -da -da. I also have the glass, but I'll wait with the glass until I have the other few. No. Why you gotta be like that? I gotta drop the wrong way always. Can I get those back, please? Thank you. If I can get a diamond, I can make more esmeralda, prismarine. I'm sure we have a use for that, right? Apart from the standard sea lanterns. Really, that's it? Just decoration? Huh. Oh, hang on. This into the corruptor. Oh, no, you can pack it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we can pack them. La di da. Diamond. He has diamond. I can make the drawer controller, I think. Right? Draw controller. Yeah. It just takes. Ooh. Can it, it cannot be a simple chipset. No, it cannot be. It needs to be a good electronic circuit. Something tells me that is not currently in our abilities. But I will have a quick look at it. Um, see, there's the crucible I was making. Let's see, I need a good electronic circuit. 
which I need the circuit assembler for basically it's actually only taking 60 but I need to find an extra term of resistors for three integrated logic circuits which take the in basic integrated logic circuit copper and resistors that is the cutting saw at 48 EU tick with lubricant so hmm yeah that's not somewhere we're gonna go right now integrated processor same thing yeah so oh this one though yeah the diode wafer new wafer lubricant we're getting back to lubricant amadron we'd have to get into the medicraft um 512 u yes okay i guess we're not gonna have a drawer controller even though we have a beautiful shiny diamond at least we have one. It looks nice in the door, right? It does look nice there. Alright, well I'm gonna try and get uh, the sink that we need. Uh, the zinc, not a kitchen sink. Um, the next episode, let's see if we can get a bit into bees and then get back to the machines. You know, see where we need to go. I think many of these I just need a lot of steel and I, I think I'm gonna make most of these off camera um, basic mixer oh this here's lubricant coming up so we may go into that direction as well so we have oh sorry we have two directions for next episode right we have the B episode the B direction I know people aren't happy with bees. Personally, I don't mind it, just slow it. That's why I want to get them started now. Because I know I'm going to be waiting a lot on the breeding of them. So, um, And then the lubricant direction. Maybe we'll get a drawer controller eventually. So, a um, bit shorter than usual. I hope you don't mind. I'm sorry I wasn't able to have more netherrack in a short time. The lava is just the bottleneck here. But hey, we got aluminium. And we got aluminium meshes and we got diamond that is not useful right now, but we still got it. So there. Um, so maybe you hope you did enjoy that part and please give a thumbs up. And click the subscribe button so you'll be informed when I have my next episode coming out. Then also if you have any questions, any tips, any comments, whatever, then please leave the comments below the video and I'll try to answer them. So thank you for watching. And take care. Bye-bye.